Here we have a typical setup for hyperspectral data acquisition in laboratory use. Specim Lab Scanner 40 by 20 with Specim FX17 camera. Specim sensors are line scanning sensors, which mean they collect the full spectral information of a thin line of the object at a time. When scanning over the sample line by line, we collect spectral information in every pixel of the entire sample. In this video, we show you how to assemble the Specim FX17 camera to Specim Lab Scanner 40 by 20. The scanner frame is delivered in two parts. The scanner table is readily assembled at the Specim factory to the scanner frame bottom part. The scanner height adjustment and camera mounting plate are also readily assembled at the Specim factory to the scanner frame upper part. First we mount the scanner frame upper part to the lower part of the frame. The delivery includes the screws and a hex key that are used to tighten up the assembly. Both legs are attached with two screws. Next, we attach the illumination unit. It has three halogen lamps that provide homogeneous illumination over the camera field of view. The unit has two fans on the bottom. There is an L support on each side of the illumination unit. Use the screws with a compatible hex key to attach the unit to the scanner frame. The screws and the key are included in the delivery. Before tightening up the screws, you can move the illumination unit up and down to find the optimal height. Make sure the scanner height adjustment plate does not shadow the illumination so that the light has a direct access to the scanner table. After adjusting the height, make sure the unit is on level and that the screws are tight enough. Finally, adjust the illumination angle. Illumination should point to the sample at about 45 degrees. Next, we attach the Specim FX17 to the scanner. We use a mounting kit specifically designed for Specim FX series. In this example, the mounting kit's bottom plate is already attached to the scanner frame. Next, slide the camera holder part to the mounting kit's bottom plate. Then slide the camera to the camera holder. Finally, tighten up the screws to make sure the camera is firmly attached. Now we are ready to connect the cables. If you are using the camera link version of Specim FX17, connect the camera link cable to the camera. Connect the camera link cable or Ethernet cable to the data acquisition PC. If you're using the Gig E version of the camera, connect the Ethernet cable to the camera. Next, we connect the illumination unit power cable. And the scanner cable, which provides both power to the scanner and the scanner control from the data acquisition PC through serial communication. If you connect the scanner to the USB port of the data acquisition PC, use a USB to serial converter with the scanner cable. Connect the scanner control cable to the serial port or to the USB port on the data acquisition PC.
Next, connect the sensor power cable to the camera. Make sure the red dot on the power cable matches the red dot position on the camera connector. Now we are all set and can connect the power cables to a mains electricity with 230 volts and 50 hertz. If needed, use adapters to match your local mains electricity requirements. In the next videos, we'll show you how to acquire hyperspectral data with Specim 17 and Lab Scanner Setup.